everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and mm, <laughs> sorry welcome back to this channel guys and if you are new here feel most welcome also don't leave before subscribing to this channel if it's your first time visiting this channel so actually today is on a saturday and i have some few things to do in this house and i decided to tag you along with me so that you can tackle this together first first of all guys i'm starting my day quite really late it's around one yeah one quarter past one pm that's when i'm starting my day but it's okay it's an it's on a saturday actually so there's no rush today so what i want to do is i want to sort out this laundry that i did i think some last night and some today in the morning i woke up a bit early today at around 8 30 i was awake but after breakfast i just sat down i'm having a flu that is not giving me any joy so I just sat down and decided to rest a bit before starting off my day. So not my not starting off my day actually, starting off with my chores. So that's what I want to do now. I want to sort off this laundry, go hang it, come back to the house. I think I still have some few things to do today. Yes. So maybe I will tag you along in some of the things that I want to do today let me do this quite fast with you guys I hope that you're going to enjoy this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below also guys don't skip the ads kindly don't skip the ads because that's where we kind of get our revenue from so there's something on there's somebody on my gate i think it's my son don't know what they are doing with the sister over there but i guess when i choose an image let me see Yes, I was right. They were playing with the water outside. Let me do this, guys, and see you in a minute. I keep dreaming, but my dreams keep flying away. A song with fire beyond. Keep chasing them, and I never rest for a day. A song play night on two. Looking for a shade when it's hot I've been low key and I'm trying to stop God, don't feel good Yeah, what's up, what's up When I'm Bye. 
weeks and I'm burned by the morning light I make the same mistake more than twice Same song, but brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me is with you, but I know Damage the fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I know we won't give this up. Sometimes I lose my mind, and some days it's hard to find the reason why you stay by my side.
after finish my work i stepped out a bit to get some things that i don't have in the house and i got this tissue it's always on special offer 10 plus 2 i never pass that so i picked this one uh, i did not buy a lot of things i was on a strict budget so this hanan Hanan servets were on offer too. I think 100 and 109 shillings. So I got them. I got that pack. I have some soda. Yeah, I always buy this soda over the weekend. And also, I passed by a fruit vendor and bought these fruits. Little passions, yeah. That's what they are called, I think. Yellow passions. Also got a packet of wheat flour, dough, on purpose, and this dawat rice. Yeah, daily basmati. It was on offer for six or nine, I think. So I wanted sunrise, but it's no longer. The sunrise basmati one is no longer on offer. This one is on offer, the daily basmati, and also the other basmati, the blue label. So I went for this orange one. The blue label was going for 400 and 449 shillings, yes. It was going for 449 shillings, but I opted to go with this because it's long grain, very good for pilau and biryani. Let me first keep this bag away. I always recycle them. I don't like buying shopping bags a lot because they always end up with so many of them in the house. So in this other bag, I have kitchen towel. It's been a while since I bought a kitchen towel and I felt like I actually need one. And also, guys, I don't know where I've been looking for the baking paper, the parchment papers, but I can no longer find them in Naivas. Please, if you know where I can get one, kindly let me know. I also got a magnet kitchen cleaner. I ran out of cleaners. By the way, I've, been, I've stayed without cleaners for months, so I've decided to buy them again, and I've started with this kitchen magnet kitchen cleaner. And this Reco Pilau Masala, I really, really love it. It beats the tropical heat one. So I decided to buy it again. I've used it once and I loved it. The small sachet. So I decided to like buy the whole, this pack. Because Sundays, we mostly, most Sundays in our home, we mostly do Pilau in the house. And... This is actually what took me to my bath. I ran out of cooking oil last night. I don't have any cooking oil in the house, so I went to buy this. It's a 5 liter fresh fry. It's on offer. It was going for 10.99 shillings. These big sausages, they were on offer too for 4 Retain the actual amount, the actual price that it goes for. It's the choice meat halal. It's a good brand. I've taken it, but it's a good brand. Oh, let me not crumble this newspaper. I'm going to Sometimes for the CBC, what? Yeah, for the CBC assignment, you get to be asked about newspapers or just rather use this paper for making like mosaics we normally use them for doing the mosaics homework this one so i don't 
I no longer throw away these papers. I keep them safely to use. Lastly, I got these Royco cubes. The big one. So guys, let me tell you. This one, they always say it's like 40 pieces. 40 pieces inside for 140 bucks. Then there's this one. They are like a small pack for 28 pieces for 100 Kenyan shillings. So I always prefer like picking this one and adding the 40 Kenyan shillings on top because it has more pieces like it has extra pieces on it like 12 12 rather than picking the 28 the 28 pieces for 100 Kenyan shillings so i always like pick this one for 140 Kenyan shillings so guys that's all that i got let me keep them away and start making dinner because dinner time is almost here and before I left, I had unhanged my clothes, so it's only cooking and maybe washing the small ones. Yeah. And we call it. so guys i want to make dinner and i want to go ahead and just make some beef and skumawiki and ugali yes that's what you are going to have for dinner tonight and guys let me ask you do you have onions in your place onions have become so pricey and very scarce actually you get a very small piece for like 10 bob or even like 20 kenyan shillings also I used to buy like the ones, the big ones from the supermarket, but I find them so watery and they don't like cook or get browned so fast. They end up staying in the what in the heat for quite some time, or just you'll have to cook them longer before they like get brownish. So I opted to go to the tiny ones, but they are very tiny guys and onions have become really like scarce to get them and also potatoes have joined the chat there are no pot no, potatoes yani zimepotea let me use swahili zimepotea and they've got, become scarce and very pricey too just like from last week if i'm not wrong yes so let me go ahead and cook so in my beef i normally like adding some ginger for tenderizing the meat also it gives it a different flavor so i'm only going to be adding ginger in the beef as i cook it yes so let's just cook and i know guys you actually wondering if we always eat ugali in this house <laughs> yes we normally do like ugali three times a week it just happens that most of the days we eat ugali are my shooting days. So we actually take ugali three times a week. That's on a Monday, Thursday, and Saturday, but not most Saturdays. Actually, today I had intended to do like some potatoes, but I couldn't find any. And the ones that I was getting were not like enough for what I wanted to make with the potatoes. So I had to make ugali again. We normally have ugali three times a week. I've mentioned that. And rice, I think, twice a week. So let me just give you our meal menu 
what we normally have in a week. I do that like I follow it for like two or one month if I feel like changing. If not, I'll just go through and through with it and we'll do just like random meals here and there within the week. So on Mondays, it's always ugali and the kenyejo, kenyeji vegetables, either with fermented milk or matumbo. Yes, normally like that. Then on Thursdays, it's always ugali, ugali greens or cabbage, either meat or fish then on saturdays we normally do ugali with either beef liver or chicken so last saturday we did with chicken today i decided to do with beef and did i mention on tuesday we do gizeri on wednesday we normally have like on tuesdays we normally eat either gizeri or mudokoi or some mokimo on wednesday we do rice we normally do rice and legumes, any legumes in the house. So Sundays are for pilau, either pilau or biryani, either way. So for lunches, I don't do any planning for lunch because most of the times like the kids are in school. But from next week, yes, starting next week, next week I shall not next week because they are closing school ne- next week, latest 28th. Yes. So from <clears throat> the 31st week, Easter Monday, I'm going to do a timetable for lunches. And for lunch, it's all, it's normally maybe spaghetti, noodles, potatoes, yani most of the light, light things. Maybe in one of the lunches or two lunches, I throw in some ugali. Oh, guys, I forgot to mention, on Fridays, we normally eat chapati. Chapati like... Two Fridays chapati, one Friday naan bread, two Fridays chapati, like that, like that. Yes, that's how uh, I do. So whenever I cook chapati for dinner, that's what will be taken for breakfast, Saturday breakfast. If I don't cook chapati that Friday, like this Friday, I did not make chapati. I was not at home. I had some engagement, so I did not make chapatis. That's why you saw me in the morning making breakfast so whenever i have chapati i don't make like breakfast i replace i'll only add a protein and fruits maybe so they'll have like tea and chapati and maybe boiled eggs or sausages or something of the sort so i was talking about the lunches for april that's just something i do randomly but i prefer like having a detailed menu so that I can know, I can have an idea of what we are going to cook. If we replace that, well and good, but I normally like having like a rough idea of what I'm going to shop for or what I'm going to be cooking because guys, making decision on eating, it's very tough. Actually, I find it very tough and tedious making decisions on cooking. If I don't have like a plan, I'll keep asking everyone in the house. And guys, it's like <clears throat> the people I stay with, they don't know varieties of food. Let's do gizeri, the other person rice, the other person ugali. And you will end up like arguing over what meal to cook. Aya, ukisema vote. We don't have enough voters in the house to vote for a specific meal. So I actually prefer like just having a timetable and figuring have yani having a rough idea of what like i'm going the meals that we are going to have that comes in handy so much because as i've told you in my previous vlogs we rarely eat it outside because most of the times we are actually at home so we rarely eat outside that's why i prefer having a rough idea or a rough meal plan of what we are going to make to eat in the house yeah for you
I actually need to replace these silicone spoons. I don't know if I still go back to the silicone schools, but I might just buy another set because these ones are really spoiled. For the wooden ones, I love the bamboo ones, the coated bamboo ones, not the regular, regular bamboo, but I'll just have to go back to the silicone, these silicone ones. I've never been exposed like this before I'm gonna try to you out I've always had a way of keeping close Beating high and I've been calling out your name from the darkness Thinking it's too late If you're fine Hi guys, this is the next morning and I want to start off with breakfast. So over here I was boiling some potatoes because I want to make like some viazika rice. So I've gone to the sink to rinse them off the hot water to stop the cooking because I was just like blanching them. So I'll just go ahead, peel them off and continue making breakfast. I've never been exposed to like this before I'm gonna try to you out I've always had a way of keeping close Beating high and I've been calling out your name from the darkness Thinking it's too late If you're fine
looking for a shame when it's hot that I've been low key and I'm trying to stop God, I'm feeling good Yeah, what's up, what's up? When I'm Since I ran into you on a street I wonder if you moved Hope everything is going amazing for you And you're not feeling blue I feel the rain poured out my face But that's alright I smile People passing by Some smile back, some might not Why am I always looking for a shade When it's hot I've been low key And I'm trying to stop God, don't feel What's up, what's up? When I'm Flacco, pretty afternoon, it's a best boy Looking at the skyline, looking back at my life And I gotta say, it's one of a kind Yeah, what's up, what's up? When I'm Flacco, pretty afternoon, it's a best boy Looking at the skyline, looking back at my life And I gotta say, it's one of a kind And we are done with our breakfast, so let me relax a bit, take a shower, then I'll go ahead and sort out my kitchen because I have a lot of dirty dishes from last night, from yeah, from dinner dishes, breakfast dishes. So I'll just go ahead and clean those ones before maybe um, doing something else in the house. So I decided to like scrap scrub my cooking pan is it uh, my deep frying pan while it was still hot and see if I can get most of the grease and uh, is it under uh, it I don't know this the outside part and see if I can actually scrub it and get it a bit cleaner so I was just scrubbing it while it was still hot and I actually went back with it on the cooker, placed it and lowered the heat so that I could get off the most of the grease outside and it worked guys. I really tried, it worked so I'll just keep on doing that till all it's like only the aluminium left with no stains of grease on the pan. You're looking 
need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Let's go ahead and bake a banana bread. I had some bananas in the house that were almost like overripe. So I decided instead of throwing them away, let me just go ahead and do a uh, banana bread for myself and for my kids because guys actually love sweet things, but not everything, not all. Like I don't fast, fancy a lot of sweet things but something like a uh, banana bread trust me and just trust me that i'm going to over eat it but <laughs> and the way i'm struggling with weight <laughs> guys i'm really really struggling with losing some extra kgs but i believe that they are going to drop slowly by slowly each step so it's only for today that I'm going to eat a slice of this banana bread. So from Monday all through Saturday, I will try and do my best and do some clean eating. Yes, so let's just go ahead and whip this bread up. It's open
so guys i'm going to leave the recipe of this banana bread down in the description description box so if you like to try you can check down there in the description box also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below My phone went off while I was like mixing the wet ingredients into the dry ingredient. So here is our bread. It's already ready. Let's get it out of the oven and cool it down. And I also sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. I had them in the house. So I decided let me just use it, use them on top of the banana bread guys and it came out so well it was really fluffy and yummy This is how the bread looks like and it looks so good and it was so delicious it's well done as you can see so this is how like we spent our weekend we were indoors this weekend and that's how we spend it or rather how i spent mine let me know down in the comment below how you spend yours guys and also allow me to leave you guys at this point and hope to see you in my next video and guys i'm really grateful for you always coming back to my youtube channel actually you don't know how much you like give me the morale to keep shooting the videos guys like i had given up on youtube a while back and i just had to gather some courage and come back here because some of you kept asking me where i went and i decided okay let me just board this ship again so guys thank you so much for your kind words thank you so much for your encouragement you know yourselves guys and let me wrap it here and i hope to see you in my next video bye bye and i love you all